my goodness, what did I come back to? <laughs> what did I come back to? <sighs> Get your breath, Lassie. Apparently no. my microphone is a lot more powerful than I thought. Short and simple, her mic picked up her toilet flush. Oh no! <laughs> I'm glad that- it wasn't on stream! I'm glad it didn't get picked up on stream, my goodness! Oh, oh my god, that- <laughs> If that happened, then I would give Maskey an excuse to go mute for the rest of the stream. Because <laughs> I don't blame you, that, that is embarrassing. Yeah, I would be like, screw this mm -hmm. crap, I'm out. Uh-uh. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and. You're surrounded by cats. You're surrounded by cats. I have a JoJo and a Gracie in here. Aww. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring your guys. Never down mind. Down there was here. a firework, and they are running now. Aww. Oh no. <laughs> Who's firing off fireworks when it's three days after Fourth of July? People do that. Not like this. Oh I mean, God. I mean, I mean, if people are drunk and with fireworks, I'll be like, "This is a perfect time to do this." <sighs> time and place, people. Come on. All right. So, are we all? You all got the stream all set? Yeah, streams all set. I've done my plugs, and we are good to go. Okay. I will do my best. Hang right. in there, buddy. Yeah. All right. Do his. Praying for you, Steve. Do as best you can. All right. Mm -hmm. Here we are. We are on the scene. Oh, I've got I my, see the fan art. I've got my dice. And, uh, so is so is the chat seeing us now? Yeah, the chat can see everything. Hi, and welcome to the Mickey Mouse Variety Hour. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, so. Before we begin, I just wanted to show this lovely fan art off that we got the other day. Yes, this was done yes. by Jaina May of our very own Violet. Indeed. Yeah. This is, a good job. this is probably like the first fan art we've gotten for the campaign, and this is awesome. Yeah. Indeed. And, it, and it's a Violet's current outfit, too. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe that I actually got. That this I ah, word. Viola is is a wonderful <laughs> papa. <laughs> Look at I this! Actually, Look at this chat. I was actually expecting um the first fan art will actually go to I don't know the other characters people, or something. People like wifeless. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. But yeah, Jana May did such a good job. Like, um. Like, I, Lassie was the one that told me, and I was really tempted to send Makoto the link to the pick draw stream that Jana did, but I thought, nah, nah, let's let her get surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was late when it was posted, but mm -hmm. that was that was probably a surprise to wake up to. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she she is wonderful and pretty, and this is also to anybody that that will we'll accept any kind of fan art. Because this gives... This makes the players more and more motivated to play, and it's really a nice, kind gesture. Yeah. Anyway, just gonna share the last of the links here before we begin. <laughs> I, I hope, hope, you, hope you sent... So yeah, if anybody encounters our artist, uh, what's the artist again? Do you have a do you have a link to her, or does she just uh, do yeah, things? Yeah, she's on DeviantArt. Ah, well, mom, yeah. we should. Well, yeah, go well, check her out. Well, first of all, we is need a link. well, first of all, is her art safe for work? Just to be sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure before we share anything. <laughs> but yeah, we could just get a link to that to share into the. Twitch uh, chat Lassie, and do you want me to get it, or 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 do you have access to Jaina's DeviantArt right away? Uh, uh, my internet is kind of being a jerk to me, so you go ahead. Okay, I'll, I'll get Jaina's uh, DeviantArt then. 
Alright. Okay. Hey. Uh, where do you guys want me to post it? Just you can just post it in the Twitch chat, but if, you can also post in the uh, tabletop channel, like for the server members as well. Okay, uh, I'll do the Twitch chat first, and that then way, I'll do the. Um, Jay would actually pin it, and chat will actually um go, go and look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could just pin that for anyone that's just joining us as well, so they'll know where the fan art comes from. Mm -hmm. By the way, how are the levels for everybody? Can you hear everything okay? I can hear everyone loud and clear on my end. Yeah, everything's all fine and clear here. for me. All right, it just looks and like the audio is peaking for the for the audio capture. Let me just turn the volume down a bit. And and the chat can hear, so that's a good sign. All right, it's like the audio is peaking. Yep. <laughs> dang it. Uh, dang it, it said link deleted on the Twitch, so okay. that's a no. Okay, oh, give, so just me the, to... give me the link and I'll type and I'll share it. Okay. I need to give you I need to give you mod privileges, Masky. Yes you do! I don't know why I haven't yet. I don't know yeah. either. I think okay. what I like about this fan art is the way that the horns are detailed. Like they're actually look like gem horns. And yeah. the way her and the way her scales are like a bit mixed with the regular skin. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, a really nice <laughs> Uh, let's see. How do I pin this? Also, the ha hair braid. I didn't notice the hair braid on, on Violet here. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see. If Jane is watching this, she's probably getting very flustered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, that, I but yeah. I still want to say... Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so kindly for this fan art, you know? It truly means a lot to me. I mean, I mean, Violette's a really pretty character, and she's been fun to have with around the campaign. Yeah. And she's got Indeed. so many different designs, too. So, And knowing Jaina, she loves Magical Girl and D&D, so like, she must have been really excited when she saw this. <laughs> Darn it, I can't figure out how to pin this. Okay, we'll put a- we'll, uh, leave that for now. Okay. Alright, so, mm. with that, we should get started, then. Alrighty. Alright, I'm about to, um, just say when, okay? Yeah, we better hurry along with this. It sounds like Steve's turning into a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, no. Not literally. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Let us begin. Alright. I am going to start in three, two, one, go. Alrighty. So on the last session of the Star Warriors, after grabbing the last of the crystals they needed to unlock Donkey Kong's cell, they soon head back to his cage to try and free him while on the path of possibly knowing who the traitor amongst them is. But in a shocking twist, it turned out to be none other than their shy gal companion, Jacqueline, who used the who used the crystals to not only unleash Donkey Kong from his cell, but to empower him as the Rajang Kong. All according to King K. Rule's plan, who tricked our heroes by leaking them false info. It was at that moment that it was a triple threat th for our party. While the battle was perilous, thanks to some quick thinking by none other than Button, who cast an illusion spell over Jacqueline to think about the errors of her ways, she, d she soon turned heel and helped out a downed Greta. In the thick of the battle, King K. Rule was soon taken out of commission and the Rajang Kong was pinned into the ground thanks to Mira. And as the dust was starting to settle, it seems that the air of the battle may soon take a different turn. It is at this point, ladies and gentlemen, we reach the season finale of the Star Warriors. 
All right, you gonna change the screen? Yep, I'm just switching over right now. There we go. Okay, let's just scroll down here. <clears throat> Don't forget to zoom in. I, I won't. Here you go. All right, so yeah. All of our heroes are pretty much surrounding the Regen Kong pinned down to the ground with King K. Rule also be pinned under him since, well, Mira tossed uh, our Regen Kong straight into the into the captain. Get, get off me, you paluka! Wake up! Hmm. Get, get, just get, get off of me! <laughs> How fitting that your plans would fall flat on your face! Or I should say, on your back! This ain't over yet! I still got one trick up my sleeve! He pulls out the what remains of the remote control for Regen Kong's controls. I'll set this to maximum! On the remote control. What's that? Right there. Can I try to snatch it since we're right there? Oh. Yeah, you can. Okay. I'm gonna have to roll. All right. Uh, to grab that, I would say dexterity. So, okay, that's a flat roll. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring your volume up, Steve, because I can barely hear you. Oh, oh my goodness! Hey. Okay. Yeah! Nat 20. Not bad. So yeah, oh. as, as he tries to pull it out from under him, as he does, you just swipe it out of his hands. Like, no! Don't crush it. As you crush it, he just smiles. <laughs> Uh-oh. You were going to do just as I was going to do. Fool. As you do so, Rajan Kong starts... Shaking violently as he is roaring. His face gets up and you can see that from his cracked from where his helmet was cracked. You just see anger in Donkey Kong's eyes as they just go white. Uh-oh. For Jay's comparison, think of Broly going Super Saiyan for the first time in Super Broly. I see. Well, I remember what I also did. I remember near the end of the session, I put the old axe into his back. Mm -hmm. Yep. There, you put him on, like, basically on the spinal column, where like, part of the metallic parts are. Mm -hmm. as, yeah, his... as, yep. As he gets up, you see where you put the axe behind him? You see one giant crystal on the spine as it starts to hum with electricity and his body is starting to glow. Uh, can I aim for the crystal? Go ahead, that's an attack roll. Mm -hmm. And considering that he's prone, I have advantage. Mm -hmm. So I am going to use one of the benefits of these pulverizers to try and do a plus 10 attack at a penalty of minus 5 so that's going to be at a plus 4 alright oh that's whoops I'm sorry oh. so 15 plus 4 19 alright that is gonna hit Alright, 1d8 plus 16. The goal of which is to essentially, if not destroy the crystal, rip it out of his spine. Mira has had enough games. Time to die. Alright. 23, 23 damage, not bad, not bad. All right, so it doesn't take the crystal out, but you do like leave a a nice chip off the crystal. It, yet it does not stop the transformation that's happening on him as he 
as he starts to slowly get up, his body also starts growing in size, and and his hair's standing on end, golden in color. What the heck? As he does, he looks to King K. Rool and just punches him towards the ocean. <laughs> just like in DK in DKC two. It's like. You'll pay for this, Dr. Chong! As he's just gone from sight. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! <laughs> I wanted to kill him. I know but you this did. But yeah, as, as, the, as Donkey Kong now completely stands up, he is now furious. Oh, jeez. But this is it, everyone. Your final battle. Roll for initiative. So does our <laughs> turn order not carry over from the last battle? No, it didn't save for me this time. Okay. Okay. Well, that's off to a wonderful start. <laughs> All right, let me just add everyone's turns. On the fence, and whether or not should I roll for digital dice or physical dice this time around? I'll I'll allow you to use your physical dice. Okay. Um. Let me try to use this. If you give me a low number, I'm switching to digital dice. All right. I'm gonna forego Jacqueline joining combat, as she's gonna use her free action to say, say to shatter that crystal. Do that, and Donkey Kong will be pacified. I'm gonna go help. Right. I'm gonna go help out Hannah, Nora, and Croac. Okay, I'm at a twelve. And and, and Greta, be careful. Will do. Yeah. All right. Let me get this. Let me get this funky monkeys. Deep, was deep going, was going. Uh, was Violet about to say something, my dear? Uh, no. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna bring your screen. volume up, Miki, because I can hardly hear ya. Well, there's a reason why my volume's low in the first place. Because screaming? Yep. I don't want to make uh, everyone go flipping death. That's understandable. Yeah. Alright, uh, uh, what's your uh, initiative, Mira? Uh, 16? Honey? Yeah, I think it's 16. Yep. yep, there you go. Okay, thank you. All right, let me just get everyone going. Oh, he, he he, went to get food, okay. Ah! All right. All right, when they get back, it will, Miro will be starting off the turn. And I just need to put down the damage from the, from the previous turn. That's a lot of damage. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Uh-huh. And as I'm going to put down the AC I have saved. But yeah, this is your final battle for this for the season, folks. Essentially your final boss. A furious Rajang. Who's also Donkey Kong, one of the chosen. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if, if for anyone who doesn't know what furious Rajang is, think about a Super Saiyan Grade A, basically. Mm -hmm. That shoots lightning. <laughs> By the way, I had a lot of fun with that with that, that look. Yeah. You did an amazing job with this. Cole. Hello, son. Oh, has a kitty joined? They would seem that way. Hey. They want to give support. Kitties are the best. He's being curious, but he also wants freedom. I'll let him down. <laughs> hey, Cole. Okay, I could have sworn I heard this music from somewhere before. Probably oh. wouldn't, because this is pretty obscure. 
Yeah, it's it. You start us off, Mira. I don't have any of my giant's might left. I'm down two out of three runes. Thankfully, I haven't taken uh, taken much uh, damage, or it's been healed back at least. So I'm gonna do the bet one thing, and I know works. Just go and try and the thing that gave me the uh, chance before was the advantage for grappling. So I'm just gonna go ahead and punch it. Okay. Just punch it. Punch. Miss. Yep, that's gonna miss. Miss. Yep. All right. So that's two misses. Uh, got anything else? Let me check to see if I have anything for a bonus action. Okay. Mm. No. Anything that would cost a bonus action, I don't have the ability to use right now. Okay. Then that will be the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Pika. <sighs> how Ready? how many uh, how, how many, many psychic dice brains? I figured yeah, you're asking <laughs> well considering that you got them recharged from the last session I know you didn't use them last time mm -hmm. so you still have all your three your three uses okay. from when you rolled well guess what I'm using <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna use. So, are you gonna throw him, or are you gonna move away from Mira so you can strike him? Uh, she would move away from Mira. So, uh... so she'd probably go right here. So, 15 feet. So she. So, so or, you're gonna. Or would you gonna try and... away my turn? No, you can. You can move. Okay. And uh, and so she'd go from behind and she'd use her psionic blades. Alright. Alright. Right. Well, okay, well, first blade. So you're going to use your first blade, so roll your d20 plus dexterity modifier and proficiency. And d20 oh. plus. And technically she is flanking, isn't she? Because I'm on the opposite side of her. Yeah, she would be. So 1d20 plus what? Plus your dexterity, modifier, and proficiency bonus. Okay. Proficiency bonus. Be a plus three and something else. Sorry, it's been a while. Your dexterity bonus would be a plus... Plus five, five. at this point. Yeah, and, and proficiency bonus is a plus three. Yeah, that'd be seven. So, so no, that'd eight. be eight. Plus eight. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, thank you. That's a mess. Yeah, that won't hit. Well, you also do have advantage. Yeah, yeah you, you do, do have, have advantage. advantage. Because I'm flanking. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what does that do then? Just roll another d20 with both your plus eight. Okay. You just take the higher of the two. Alright, here's hoping. <laughs> just one <laughs> less. <laughs> so, are you gonna oh, try. Then. Why are you gonna use your bonus attack to try and hit him still? Use another uh, do I, uh, you mean my... I mean, I could. Are you? Like, uh, like... I mean, like, should I use that or sneak attack? Uh, sneak attack, I think, would be considered one of your regular actions. I don't think it would be considered a bonus action. 
Let me double check. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Just give me a moment. I'm just quickly reading it up. All right. Yeah, you can. You can just hack with... But at your range, you would need to use your crossbow. Okay, I'll try sneak attack. All right. Crossbow. So, all right, so roll for attack. That. It, it's still d20 plus 8. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Roll yeah. done. Oh, Violet, you're up. Alright, yep, it's Violet's turn. I used my luck earlier. I should mention, like, just a quick fix from from Lassie's description. The helmet's not off, but it is cracked. And you can see that sparks are fly flying from it. I'm not on the fence on actually using Guiding Bolt again, because the last time I tried, it failed. And I wasted my 4th level spell slot. All... Mm. Rajang Kong's armor is... is cracked in places after the confrontation, especially being thrown into King K. Rule. So I will say that, because of that, his AC is down from before. I'm on the fa- Still, I'm hesitant, though. Well, you don't want to use it. You, you got I other know. options. I know. Let's see. Okay, quick roundup. Who needs healing badly? Not me. I only have one HP. Yeah, Greta needs it. Okay, okay. Okay. Um I'm using my I'm using my last second de level uh bonus action. I'm using my last second level slot for healing word on Greta. All right. What okay. does she have to roll? She doesn't. I have to. Oh, right. Got to love healing word as a bonus action. Okay. Okay. Where is my uh, I need another D4 in this pile of dice. Okay. Oh, thanks for the hydrate, Redeem. Okay. Four, five, six. You got six HP back, Retta. All right, awesome. Thank you. And action. Okay. I am going to be using... Tell me, is he badly hurt? He did take damage from the previous fight Mental. before this. Then Toll of the Dead. Okay. Wisdom Toll 13 the saving throw. I sit 13 saving. Wait, 13 you said? 13, 1 3. Okay. Alrighty, so 13 saving throw. Failed. Okay, then. That's a D8. I mean, tw 12. So. Okay. Where's my other D12? You. Oh, my chin chin. What? 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 21! What? 21. What? 21 necrotic damage. Not bad. Nice. nice. Well done. She strums her lyre bow and it's but it's but get but the last note gives up the d melodious twang that hurts him. Oh. Alright, I just want to see the description of the spell. <laughs> but yeah. This you see? Like the, this melodic twang. Like rings in his ears and it's causing the helmet to short circuit even more like because clearly Ooh. that 
His helmet is damaged to the point that he's so enraged he can't even think straight. The helmet! His weakness is the helmet! So yeah, he's... Some of his defenses have been damaged in the state. So, yep, there we go. 21 damage. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Wait. Okay. Wait, 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 I'm going to use it to get up into the air, and I'm going to come over this way. So I can get a solid, a solid, uh, angle, and I am going to cast, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh. Um, question. If I cast a spell, can I still use a physical attack? Uh, casting, unless the spell is a bonus action, it is considered an attack roll. I see. In that case, let's see. I am going to cast, uh, let's see, Wall of Wind, and I'm going to try and blow the helmet off. Okay. And the Wall of Wind is going to be blowing this way. All right. Well, how, how, well, how tall, or how wide is the wall? So the wall, let's see. Let me just take a look at my spells. Yeah, I gotta know like the the width of the wall itself. You okay, can't so... change it with the ruler. What's that? You can change it with the ruler. Ah, Hold on, okay. where is I know my spells here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, gust of wind, here we go. Yeah, it's gust of wind. Is it something like this? Uh yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh gust of wind. Area, area, 60 feet long, 10 feet wide. Okay, so it could be from here to... So it'd be from here to here, basically. All right, yeah. and it's going that way. All right, okay. All right, here, let me get rid of this real quick, and I'll, and I'll just do a quick... Okay, that's better. There you go. Wait, all right, so yeah. So yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to try and blow the helmet off of him. Okay, All right, are you using wind wall or gust of wind? Gust of wind. Okay. Um, sorry, just doing my own research, trying to wake myself up. All right, so let me see. Gust, let me no take worries, a look at Gust. Steve. You're fine, Steve. Let me just look at gust of wind real quick, see if I can work up something here. All right. A line, a line of strong wind, 60 feet long and 10 feet wide, blasts from you in a direction that you choose for the spell's duration. Each creature that starts its turn in, front, in a line must succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed 15 feet away from you in the direction following the line. Okay. Any, any creature in the line must spend two feet of movement for every one foot it moves when moving closer to you. The gust disperses gas or vapor, yada yada yada. Uh, as okay. a bonus action, each of your turns before the spell ends, you can change the direction of the wind. All right, so then it's got to make a saving, strength saving throw. I I just need the save DC. Uh, save DC is 15. Okay, so it needs to beat it out of 15. It's this guy's strong. Got, yeah, this guy's got good strength, so let's see. What'd you say it was? 15. 1, 5. 15? Ty goes to attacker. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So it's it's tr trying to go up against the wind, like it looked like a stalemate for a moment there until it it starts getting pushed back, and the helmet's like getting loose. Like you see, even the straps that were holding it are just barely holding onto onto him now. You got any bonus actions? Um, let's see, bonus actions. None that I can use at the moment, so I will end my turn. Oh yeah, but he's off the platform now. Hmm. Alright, Greta! 
Okay. Gonna go up behind him. Over here. And I'm going to uh, strike at him with my quarter stuff. Okay. Roll for attack. That'll hit. Bless Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. I felt that. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. I think you you have flanking advantage as well since we got three party members surrounding him. (laughs) But it's a hit anyway, so you don't have to worry. Mm Mm-hmm. I'll be nine damage for that. All right, nine damage. Strike him again. You got advantage. Will do. There you go, twenty-one again. Yeah, and let's see. Let me just double check something. Really quick. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna spend a key point and stun him. Okay. Uh, let's do damage first. Eight damage for that. All right, and he's stunned. <laughs> oh, hang on. Uh, he has to make a constitution saving throw. Mm-hmm. Alright, what's the... What's his save DC? 13. Okay, so he needs to make a sick... Jeez. Yeah, he passes. Crap. Was it, it was a good try. Yeah. Oh, hey. I yeah, still honey. got my bonus attack. You do, okay. and you can try to stun him again. Good. Indeed. Funny Although... enough... That- yeah, funny enough, the guy that's electric electric based is not immune to stun. <laughs> Though, with how you are, um, ooh, okay, never mind. Ooh, critical hit! Not Woo! bad. <laughs> nice. Can I have some of those nat twenty o's? I'm here. Oh, I would definitely offer them. Ooh, I might have damage at that. And it's, that, is, <laughs> that is 20 damage. Ooh, and constitution saving throw for the stun. Okay. Yep. All right. And this. Maybe this is just me, DM, but getting a net 20 like that, if they choose to stun, I would personally give them disadvantage on the save, but that's your call to make. No, you're right. Like that's, I was trying to think like whether I give it automatically or if I, they get disadvantage, but... All right, let's do disadvantage on this. All right. Mm-hmm. Failed on the second one. So yeah, nice. I'm going to say as with that fierce determination in your eyes, especially wanting to help Jacqueline like rid of her mistakes with your third strike at the core staff, you not only strike him hard enough to stun him, but you knock the helmet off. Okay. Oh my gosh! And because of that, all mental defenses against him from spells or anything, all his immunities and resistances are gone. Nice. Sweet. Yep, that helmet was protecting him from all mental attacks. But think Juggernaut from X-Men. I see. Ah. So yeah, and his cowlick hair is out in the open now, but all pointed now. Alright. All right, Wait, so... do we have to get the other crap off of him? Well, you gotta face... You gotta take off that crystal. That's what Jacqueline said. Hmm, right. Mm-hmm. Alright, so... But now it's his turn. Alright, so... I gotta remember stun status. Does he have to roll uh... something? Mm, or, no, but stun yeah. specifically with a uh, with a monk. 
the uh-huh. stun effect does not end until the begin until the beginning of their next turn. Okay. Says end of my next turn. End All of right. next turn. So. Right, yeah, sorry. he's he's stuck there. He cannot take any actions. Okay. Woo! So yeah, he, he cannot. Wow. And yeah. Again, I'm looking at the <laughs> at the sheet you gave me, Steve. I'm surprised he's not immune to stun. But then again, if a Rajen could get hit by a giant club, then yeah, I would imagine to be stunned. Let's put a mon- let's put a token- let's put some sort of a moniker on him to see- to tell him that he is stunned. Yeah, let me <laughs> see if- let me- let me see if- I know uh, one, hang on me, um, just... Hold up, I got one. There we go. I okay. think I got it on there. I don't see any difference. Oh, no, it's, it's on the I top- I do. Of- I yeah, do. it's on the top, I, top right, right corner. Right right next to Pika. Pika. Oh, I yep. see it now. It The token is obnoxiously big, but we can see it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, there. <laughs> there you go. There. Yeah, I just want to put it right next to it. But there you go. He is stunned. But yeah, so he cannot move. He cannot take any actions. He's also got failures on strength and dexterity saving throws. And attack rolls against them have advantage. So this is your chance, everyone. All right, top of the order, Pika. No, I go first. Oh wait, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know why it skipped Mira all of a sudden, but yeah, go ahead. Flying <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm going all in on this gamble. All right. Well, uh, using the pulverizer to get plus ten uh, to damage. Hit on the first. Yeah, 22. Oh! Ooh. Nat 20. Oh my Nat. goodness. <laughs> Can I have a crab of Nat 20 else, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the first. Bless you. Oh. Bless you. Yeah. Here's the Nat 20. 48 Max damage. <laughs> 17 plus oh, 48. No. Oh. But it's not oh, over. Big guns. All right, I, I just need to calculate this real quick. Mm-hmm. 17. All right, yeah, just let me calculate this real quick. 17 and then plus 48. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Okay. I'm not done. All right, go ahead. Action surge. Yeah. (laughs) Hit. Hit. Nice. So that's going to be 2d8 plus 32. Or an additional 40. 40 damage, dang. I do. Hang on, and I know exactly. I know exactly how to show y'all what. Since you made the comparison earlier. I just need to find that one moment. Uh, For for context, um, Jay, you know that one moment with Frieza and Super Broly? Yes. Hang on, that's fine. I think I found as close as I'm going to get in a short period of time. Uh, oh, the beatdown for one hour. Oh. Yep, that one. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah, that's pretty much what's happening right now. Yeah, except the shoe's Just... on the other foot this time. Yep, and all those are going to the skull. Ooh, jeez, you're yeah, just... A... I'll just say, by the time... Mira become... is done with all... <laughs> All this bull. I'll say by the time Donkey Kong wakes up, he's gonna look worse than when he got punched by Little Mac and Punch Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll say with all those forceful punches, it's causing the crystal on his back to shatter even further. He is, in lack of a better term, bloodied. And I yep. think that's the end of your turn. Uh, yes, that will be. Alright, now it's Pika. Uh, 
Okay. Mid. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> also, <laughs> now that I've eaten, I am starting to wake up. Oh, good. Hey, okay, you see go. your That's energy come back. Mm -hmm. Huzzah. Glad you got your energy back, bud. Alrighty. So Pika is gonna move over here, and she's gonna aim for the stupid crystal that is on the back of of Donkey Kong. With your rapier? Yes. Okay. So roll the that uh the that that. Wait, where's my other rolls? So 1d20 plus 8, or...? Yes, yes. Okay. 2d20 plus 8. You have advantage oh, yeah, because it. they're stunned. All right, okay, thank you. And thank because you, of that, you will have st sneak attack as well. Yay! Thank you. Uh, All right. 8 plus 8 is 16. Will not hit. Oh, for... Fr <laughs> you have a bonus action with your psychic okay. blades. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah. What do I roll for that? It's still the same. Mm -hmm. You same have one thing. more. Yeah, you still have one more use of your second blades. Mhm. Mm if there okay. was time to use it, it's now. Okay. Dirty, Dirty 20. twenty. That'll hit. That will hit. Finally. Gosh. <laughs> okay. So what do I roll for attack? Uh, all right. I don't know the damage of psychic blades. Let me check. I got them, don't worry, because I know they also scale on the level. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Alright... They should be... Plus your modifier... Okay, so this is the bonus one. E? This is It's 1d4 plus your dexterity modifier. So 1d4 plus 5. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Uh, wait, should... is... It, does this count as an action or a bonus action? Bonus, because bonus is a 1d4 instead of 1d6. Okay, okay. So, seven damage. All right, there we go. All right, you get your sneak attack, too. Yep, you okay. got sneak attack. What? So, do I roll the uh, 2d20 again? Yep. No. Okay. Sneak attack? no, no, you just roll the, d the d6s, however many those may be. Okay, so that would be... I think it should be... 4d6, yep, 4d6. Alright, thank you. 12! Additional 12 damage, well done. Whee! Right. Yay! Now, Pika. Yeah. How are you cutting the, the crystal? She is going to kind of do a Zoro and such, just like kind of thing. Oh, like quick strike on the crystal? Quick strike, leave a, leave a big old P there, just for initial. <laughs> yeah. Alright. As she does so, the crystal hums loudly and shatters. Wait, what the f- <laughs> Yeah! Nice. Regine Kong has been defeated. Bro didn't even get to- Bro didn't even get to take a swing at us. All thanks to teamwork <laughs> from Greta and Mira's monstrous damage. What the heck? Pika did the... the what? Well no. done, Pika. <laughs> but, but yeah, that monstrous damage was entirely thanks to the stunning strike. Thank you. Oh my gosh! I can't believe he got the final blow! What the heck? I did not expect that! Ah! I'm a shock! She is shook. <laughs> she is shook, chat. Papa? Yeah? You good? I am. Just what caught up with my with other things. Okay. Hey, you still you still got to do a good thing. Yes. Indeed. So yeah, with that done, all of the armor on him falls off. The crystal is just lands right next to him, and he's completely fall falls down, completely unconscious, and back to normal. We just took down Donkey Kong. 
One of the strongest people in the Mushroom Kingdom. Good. And, and you were able to, to defeat him when he was even more powerful. Pika falls. <laughs> <laughs> she faints. Oh, I found I found the thing from the uh, from his uh, from her flurry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that was perfect. Just with the right here. <laughs> oh man! So yeah, Pika faints. She she was not prepared for that. Like that she would take it down. <laughs> All right, Greta, the. Bring me those crystals. I need to bring those back to the proper people. Hananora and Croak are fine, but they're going to need some medical attention. Oh, oh Mira just scooped up Pika. <laughs> oh. oh! The ghost is definitely shook from just dealing the final blow. Oh, I'm also going to I'm also gonna go ahead still- and, just, uh, and just erase my... and just call off the wind. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Um, just... DM, would I please? Can I please have control over Masky's token, please? Yes. <laughs> all right. Just let me delete this stuff first. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Be this. Uh... All right. There you go. You should have control. Oh. Thank you. Uh, let me just. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Okay, I'm gonna go, go and float over towards uh, Greta and Jackie. Greta has the keys and she has them to Jackie. Hi. <sighs> I hope they can forgive me for what has happened these crystals don't deserve to be in someone's ha- hands like junk jaws. Button Gotta has a ch- stern look on his face. Or yours. You've got a lot to answer for, Jackie. And I am willing to pay any price and any punishment to fix my mistake. At the very least, junk jaw won't have Donkey Kong as a weapon. And without King K. Rule here now, I would assume their alliance would start to falter without me or him. <sighs> it is not just us or Croak or Hananora that you got some apologizing to do. Yeah. You also have to make it up to Cookie Kong. And I would prefer if you bring me to him and I will and I will take whatever punishment he gives me. She grabs the crystals and starts to walk over back to the mainland. And while uh, I'm going to wait until Jackie's out of earshot, and then I'm going to lean into Greta. You're welcome. I'm going to whisper to her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's looking at her other two friends and just shakes her head. I'm so sorry. Oh, Mira also put a hand on Violet's shoulder. Fine. You're good? I'm fine. I'm Jason. You did well, for what it's worth. I'm gonna go and check and see if he's doing alright. What tent is he has there? Nice. Pika! Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Violet. Nah, um, I can wait. No, you go ahead, honey. It's okay. Well, I'm just gonna say, um... What does his status look like so far? Donkey Kong is just incapacitated and knocked out. Probably bloodied and bruised from the beating that Mira gave him. 
<laughs> definitely, definitely. He's he is conked out. Hat conked. I'm gonna give him some healing. All right, what are you gonna give him? Level one cure wounds. All right. Don't even need to, don't need to roll for it since, at this point he's just stable, but he's just still unconscious. Oh god, he's actually Uh, you have anything else to add, Greta? Not right now. Alright, uh, Mira? Um... You doing alright, Mira? Mm-hmm. Do you right, have anything uh, to add? Just mostly, just... Okay, alright. Alright. Uh, Pika? Pika... Pika slowly... Pika wakes up. And she's very quiet. As she... She'd be shaking in in Mira's arms and such. She's just there's a lot of emotions going on in that little boo. Alright. So everyone give me a perception roll. Alright. Oh. All right. Well, that's, that's one of my worst. <laughs> I guess a one. I got a four. <laughs> All right. Does, does Violet roll for per perception as well? Yeah, everyone. Okay. Nope, I don't notice a thing. It makes oh. sense considering she's engrossed with her comrades. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. 22. All right. Nice. 13. All right. Uh, Pika? So, initiative. What, what, what I, what, no, what that perception. Oh, perception. Perception, right. Sorry. Bleh. Sorry, I'm not the smartest tool in a shed. Hey, you're doing fine. And all things considered. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, you know just, uh, all just, right. So wait, wait. Did Makoto roll? Yeah, she did. She, she did. got twenty-two. Oh, all right, okay. So so you three, except for Greta and Button. First, for Ma for Pika and Mira, you see something land just beside Hannah Nora and Croak. And for Violet, you see something land right next to you and Donkey Kong. <laughs> and they're spiked balls that start to beep. What the crap? Beep what? what? Uh, Mira, Mira will grab it, uh, grab one, and uh, grab the spike ball, taking whatever damage is on it, and toss it as high as she can. All right. Well, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to roll a deck save for this, because this is something that I wasn't expecting for damage. Uh, even, even if I throw it as hard as I can. It's got a wide range. Yikes. Oof. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So you may want to start running Violet with Donkey Kong. Yeah, okay. she's gonna try her hardest to pull him out. Okay. At this um, point, he's just, he's pretty much dead weight. Um, crap. so... She did heal him. Yep. Okay, so... so you should wake up. He, he wakes up like... Come oh. on, get up! He's he's weakly tried getting up like he's putting his arm around you. <laughs> so you two, yeah, you two are getting away. While everyone else, especially in that wide range, all of you roll dexterity save. Okay, okay. dexterity is one of my better stats. Wait, how big are these balls? <laughs> they're, they're they're softball sized, but they pack a wall up. Then why couldn't I just throw it, try to get it out of range? As, as a reaction. Like I said, they have a wide range. You'll see why. Mm. Oh, I got 19. 
And dexterity is fine. I just double check it. Okay. <laughs> oh, for um, a fuck! Uh, let's see. And, What's my dex mod? And I got evasion, so if there's any damage to be taken, I'll only take half. Oh, that's no, with evasion, you take zero. Okay, I rolled a... I rolled a 17, so plus 4, that's 21. Alright, uh, Violet? Oh, oh right. Yeah, well, actually, actually, no, you don't have to because you just got out of the raid. Everyone else that was in there is close. Is anyone going to. Was no one going to tell Panora or Croak? Um, oh, you didn't give us a chance to. Mm. Well, and, yeah, they're, they're, we wouldn't have more. a chance. It just. That was me trying to help them throwing the damn explosive. Oh, okay. Okay, that's oh. one for the swear jar. <laughs> At this okay. point, I don't care. Okay. All right, mm. All right so. Everyone except for Pika saved their deck save. As soon as Mira threw the bomb, it just lets out like a massive explosion out there. It blows up so wide. The shockwaves and the flames just push you all. Ugh, I can't even talk right now. They force you all back up just a little bit, but except for Pika, everyone's current HP is halved, while Pika is down to one. But I got evasion. Yeah, you... I don't take anything. Yeah, you don't have to take anything. No crap. Well, dang. Dang, so Pika's down to one. So before you can catch all your bearings, Jacqueline screams out as her mask is slashed across from a, from someone you weren't expecting to see in person. Oh? I always say... If you want something done right, you do it yourself. Chucky! In his hook hand, what is the crystals? Oh no. Oh crap. Oh, I think it's album. I think it's time the captain comes aboard. Intermission. Well, what the <laughs> Intermission, everybody! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that this? Is that like your stress button? No, that's my sensor bar. <laughs> I quack. <laughs> By the way, fucking rage. By the way, I have a I have a sketch as to what Junk Jaw actually looks like. Which I will use in the second half of the campaign, but bathroom break, I'll meet you all yes. in a little bit. <laughs> Great.
谢这个 girl。Which kitty is it this time? Lena. Ah.、Uh -huh. I could turn my camera on if you want to see. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> oh. Oh, she, she she wants her snuggles. Yeah, she's so sweet. Celestia loves you. No, this is Lena. Oh, Lena! Celestia's <laughs>、yeah, like、over there. Oh, oh, I now I see her behind in the background. They just almost have a similar coat. Yeah, well, they're both tortoise shells. Ah,、oh, right. that would make sense. Yeah,、uh, Lena is a blue tortoise shell, and that Celestia is a regular tortoise shell. Oh, blue, blue. Like, does she have blue eyes then? No, her、uh, her fur is a kind of like a blue gray. Hmm. Also, like it would give like a bluish, like tint to it. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> She's so sweet. Aww, she. Ah,、uh, she just loves you. She is the most affectionate thing. Like this <laughs> thing lives for cuddles. <laughs> And Celestia is just asleep. Probably、uh, no. She's watching. She feels betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that kitty. She just she just wants to be held. She does. She can cuddle with you for hours if you let her. Good chance.、Mm. I needed a cuddle break. After this, after the pika, the pika got more damage. Oh, she. Oh, so. Someone in the chat's calling her Cel Celestia's cousin. I mean, it could be. <laughs> For all we know, no.、Oh, she's just, just giving you head butts. She is. Like she's just melted into me right now. <laughs> so yeah, she's definitely the most affectionate out of all cats. It looks、sure. like she. Could, it looks like she could just fall asleep in your hands right now. Oh, she. <laughs> Uh, is is her collar just like just like that, like a little damaged, or is it like just like something special? Uh, yeah. It for some reason it's like I don't know what、uh, the heck happened. Oh man! But she did get new collar, a new collar for Christmas. It's just a matter of putting her tags on the new one. <laughs> But yeah, that's the Lena, the Lena Lee, and the one I stole from my brother. <laughs> But jeez! <laughs> All right, baby girl, I'll put you in the tree. I'll twist. <laughs> Celestia is not a fan of her because, but I love her. So Celestia is not happy about that because she's like, "Excuse you, you're supposed to like me and me alone." <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing. I'm seeing Junk Jaw's design. Now that is a really great design. Yeah, Jason did a good job. He is definitely intimidating. Especially that hook. Well, every good man, cat Pink is down、hook. to one. <laughs> Pink is down to one health. What the heck? <laughs> Gosh, medic. Well, medic! she dies. It's okay. It's fine. Me medic. I mean, as I mean, as I, I mean, as Button has said over and over, she's dead, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. We don't need <laughs> that dead. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Lassie.、Thank、Hello,、you. Lassie. Hello, My dear friend, say hugs.、Mm. Everyone gets a hug. <laughs> Yeah, you all did an amazing job on Rajank Kong. Teamwork makes the dream work. 
Hey, that stun saved you, saved all your hides. <sighs> I didn't want him to do anything, so I'm like, I gotta stun this this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just put, you pretty much put him in the stun lock so he couldn't attack. Mm hmm. And Mira just going to town. Oh yeah. I'm just Definitely. glad that Pika finally hit. Gosh. And you got the killing blow. Yeah. That was totally unexpected. I was not prepared for that. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be Violet, but nope. <laughs> All right. Just gonna wait for Miki and Steve to get back. And Jason, I don't know what he's doing. Probably gobbling around the place. Oh. <laughs> You're just gonna keep making so many <laughs> this is turkey jokes of him. Yes. <sighs> and just texting my my man. We wait. <laughs> you may have heard of him. His name is Philip. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were referring to a different Philip. Oh yes, I know many Philips now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be really like shocked if I met another Philip. I mean, well, hmm. I wait a minute. Yeah, I don't think I've ever met like someone that like has my family. Yeah. That's why all of y'all been unique names. <laughs> yeah, mine's pretty uncommon. Y yours is really pretty, personally. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. I just said I said it. I'm just glad I s pronounced it right. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people don't... Special when it comes to spelling. In case you guys are wondering, Lassie's name is Gruntilda. <laughs> wait. So wait, so, no. so wait, is she a witch that always rhymes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, honey, that's a that's a Banjo Kazooie uh reference. The the, the villain is named Gruntilda. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm I so see sorry. how you view Do me you now. Do you honestly think I would <laughs> drop your name? No. No, no, I know that. I know that. But I'd never you know. do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel the same way. <laughs> oh, jeez. Bless you. I've been sneezing all day. Bless y'all. I'm surprised I haven't sneezed with the cats getting their fur all over me. All right, we're just waiting for Jay to get back. Like I said, he's probably gobbling all over the place. <laughs> it's a turkey. Gobble, gobble. Well, until he gets back, I'll keep texting uh, my, my, my love. <laughs> oh, in that case, um... I might as well just send out these, um... There you go. That's the care package. Ooh. Hey. Hydration, stretching, and posture check. Aww. Welcome we have returned. Back. Welcome back. Hello, turkey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. Alright, so are we all set? I'm all set. Uh, <laughs> have it to reload. Oh, oh yeah, I'm seeing like, okay, just need Greta to reload. Alright. Okay. Gosh. I need that. Alright. Well, Pika's dead. It was nice knowing you all. <laughs> no! All right. All right, She's so already let's... dead. Exactly, guys. This is exactly what I meant. W w did I not say that Jason or or Button would say, "Well, she's already dead." 
Well, she would be out of existence then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's <Hey>. undead. <laughs> All right, so Anyways. out of the air mission. Out of the air mission screen. You got it. All right. All right, so he's got the Chris Junk Jaw is now for the first time in this campaign in the visi in the visible uh, non flesh with the shattered crystals in his one robotic hand and a cannon sized flintlock in the other for where his hook should be as it switched over to like a cannon arm. Pointed right down to Jacqueline. Oh, Th oh! Thanks for doing all the hard work for me. Uh, Greta at that point would charge at him. Ah, 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 ah! I wouldn't even do that. She stopped short. I, I have a hair trigger, you know. So and you besides, finally show yourself, you fiend. <laughs> I think at this point you've become such a nuisance. I have to dirty my hands sooner or later. Besides, Jacqueline has fulfilled her usefulness to me anyways. And so I'm going to cast Banishment. On, on Junk Jaw. Uh, banishment on him? Yep, I still have a spell slot. Let me just look at the spell real quick. Where is it? I just need to double check the spell itself. Must succeed a charisma saving throw. What's your DC? My DC is 15. He passed. Darn it. Dang it. The w You try banishing him, but the field around him is just warps and does nothing. <laughs> Was that your feeble attempt to get rid of me? I'm afraid it's not going to be that simple. Besides, you have your own worries that is to worry about. The, r the ground around you all starts shaking. What's happening? I had a feeling my grenade rounds weren't going to be the end of you. Sorry. I just mean unlocking my phone because I got a message. It's okay. If my grenade rounds weren't going to take care of you, I was going to make sure that this very land around you does the work for me. You didn't see that the platform behind, right behind Violet starts to cave in as a sinkhole starts forming. I've also set this entire ruins to be dragged into the sinkhole. So you have two choices. Either take the crystals away from me, or save all of your injured and incapacitated friends. That is, if I'm going to allow you to leave all your life. Captain's coming aboard. Junk okay. Jaws initiating combat to you all. Flip. All right, rolling initiative. No, it's the same initiative. It's just Junk Jaws gonna be in last. I see. So, you have pretty, with the exception of Pika, almost there. You have four people to get out of here while si escaping the sinkhole. Okay. I don't have the movement to get to Donkey Kong or Violet as I dash. I'll take my action and then I won't be able to give, and I won't be able to help. Um, how's DK looking? 
obviously not well. Okay. Yeah, he's he's mostly being supported by by Violet right now. Okay, then I'm gonna use my movement. Thirty feet. Right over there, just short. Look into the others. Get them out. I'll handle them. Alright, so you used your dash. Mm -hmm. I've moved. I haven't used my action. I'm debating that, that right now. Okay. But... What I can do... That those cost a reaction, so I can't use them. You say we are a problem? Take your... Uh, just opens up. Uh, essentially... I'm going to use my... Uh, hold my action to help them, but I'm going to essentially have arms wide open. Go ahead, take your shot. Hmm. All right, and that's the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. All right, Pika. Oh gosh. So she's at one health. <laughs> and your main priority is to help your unconscious party members. So who are who are un so, okay? So these two are unconscious, right? Yes. Okay. So Pika Pika would go to would go to her. And keep in mind, this poor thing is super weak right now. But she is going to twy. She's going to twy and grab at least her. Okay. So, do I have to roll or anything, or can I just drag? <laughs> They're unconscious. You can you can just drag them. Yep. Okay. So your movement will be halved though while you're dragging them around. Okay. So my normal is uh. 30, so that would be what? 15. Uh, 15. 15. Okay, so. Okay, so she would drag her um, here. Alright. And she'd c call out to Button, like, Get! Get! Kruger! Alright, I would assume that would just be the end of your turn right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Violet. <sighs> Crap basket. Um. Think. Let me just, uh, let me do a think. Mm -hmm. I just tried to get him there. But then again, he's blocking the path. Crap basket. Looks better if I can fly, but I don't have that anymore. But I don't have. But I use that up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. That um, Violet is gonna try her best to take Donkey Kong and. Move to this direction. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so 15 feet. Yeah. Um, once they get close to me, I am going to essentially allow them to move an additional 15 feet by helping move in a DK. Okay. And that'll be over there. Hmm. Alright, well, essentially, we have uh, Greta. Uh, is that your turn? I'm gonna give Bardic Inspiration to Button. Okay. That's my last one. You better make use of it. I plan to. Like this pirate music I got going on? Oh, I hmm. love it. Okay. In that case, 
Um, I am going to fly up behind Jackie. I'm going to grab her, and I'm going to use Thunderstep to go over this way. Now, does Thunderstep hurt? Yes, no. Thunderstep hurts uh, Junkjaw. Yep. All right. I so just need to it look will. Up. So he will uh, need to make a Constitution saving throw or take three D10 thunder damage, plus the. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Plus, I am also going to invoke Genie Wrath, and I'm going to add plus four to the damage if it's if uh, it, just in case he seems... succeeds. Okay. Alrighty. So we get Constitution. What should the uh, DC? Uh, uh, DC, DC. Um, uh, it's a con save. Uh, the mm -hmm. D, the DC is 15. All right. Well, either way, you would save Jackie from that. So, so 15. He succeeded. Okay. okay. Well, he's still, let's see. Uh, let me see. If he succeeds, um, half as much damage on a successful one. So I'm going to roll 3d10. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That's an eight and a four. So that's 12. twelve. And I add one more. Twelve plus seven. That's a nineteen plus four. That is uh twenty-three. So half that. Half. So that would be yep. That would be eleven, I think. Mm -hmm. So eleven damage. I got Jackie out of harm's way. That thunderstep, like, you can see his whole hot body sparking, but he's, like, barely flinching from that. Mm. That kind of tingled. I've got more than that, but I have a different priority today. <laughs> All right, Greta, you get your one attack. Phew. Okay. What to do? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. What does she want to do? She's feeling rather spiteful right now. I don't want to use that yet. Um... She is... So, um... Is this just one attack? Just yeah. one? Yeah, okay. you got the one action right here going on. She's gonna throw a dart in his face. To the eyeball. Oh, okay. One good eye. Ooh. One good eye. Well, he's got two good <laughs> eyes right now, so. Tur currently. <laughs> Let me see. Um, darts. Let's see if it's. Yeah, yeah it should be in range. Twenty. Ty goes to attack. Sweet. Nice. Got one hit in. Woo. Got one dart. Make it count. Mm -hmm. It's only a little damage, but still. So yeah. Since you barely just hit him, that dart just whizzes past what passes by as a cheek and leaves a a pretty deep imprint on his metallic cheek. <sighs> Feisty granny, I take it. 
<laughs> I like the cut of your jib. There'll be a lot more to look forward to in the future. I <laughs> promise. And I look forward to that day in the future. But unfortunately, I have other pressing matters. And he, like, takes, like, a giant leap back towards this tree as a dark portal opens up. One you all saw before when you fought the three generals in the past. And his fabled dark knight comes through the portal. Oh, no. I'll take the... I'll at least have the crystals as a constellation prize. But I'll leave you with my last gift. He holds his cannon up to the air and fires. Bombs away. And he leaves through the portal. Think of Pokemon's Draco Meteor. Oh no. Once again, everyone, roll dexterity save. Oh yeah. Oh no. Okay, what's my stats again? Eight. Uh. That is 18. Oh, you've no. gotta be kidding me! Darn it! Oh no! Well, Pika's dead. Okay, what did you get, Violet? Eight. Okay. So. There is but, no way I'm ever gonna. There's no so, way I'm using my silvery bards in this. It so, is a reaction. I'll, I'll allow that. Ah! <laughs> You have to reroll again. Uh, and this, okay. Um, let's see. The, the triggering creature must reroll the d20 and use the lower roll. Well, this is a deck save, so roll for another one at this in this point. Yeah, just okay. make another save. It's even worse. <laughs> oh no! You tried. But, right, uh, so. question. Uh huh. Can I use my reaction? And I have an idea. It's very homebrewy, very much rule of cool. But I have uh, two things of runic shield. Uh -huh. now, the way it works is that essentially you need to re roll the d20 as well. Okay. Could I use both my charges, both of those charges, to try and create some sort of protection for everyone at the cost of myself i've i've allowed homebrew stuff before i mean i'm already you doing it with uh makoto's class so i don't see why not right. i am going to fail this save i know that but essentially you just see mira just go everyone behind me as her arms who are that are normally covered in blue marks and such glow a bright blue as soon as she spreads her arms out, there is essentially a wall shield appearing above you. Everyone onto me, now! I drag, I drag Jackie uh, close to Mira. Pika groans as she, <laughs> as, as she drags uh, Greta's friend. Yep. As she collapses. So pretty much everyone is being saved from Mira's shield as these hailing balls of fire hit the the area around you and along with uh, the shield itself. Mm -hmm. And whatever damage is being done, I take it. That's the cost of this. Yeah. In which case Mira would fall to to zero HP. In exchange for saving oh everyone. My gosh. Yep. All right. As soon as the bombardment's done, is like smoking craters and such. The shield uh, slowly fades. As she drops to a knee, she doesn't fall, but you can tell her eyes are just glazed over. Yeah. 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 Oh no, you're not going down on my watch. I'm going to give Mira a potion of greater restoration. So yeah, as that happens, the sinkhole's getting bigger. And it's consuming the ruins. 
Yep, so I'm I'm basically gonna force uh I'm basically gonna force like the Mira to shotgun this um this potion. Okay, yeah, I'm watching what that does. Come on, don't die on me, darn it! Okay. Hold the button. And I'm going to, for good measure, just kind of slap her face just a little bit. Gosh. We do not have time for this. Hurry up and heal her so we can quickly get out of here. I'm doing my best, darn it! Alright. Roll it, Jay. Um, what? Okay. Roll the healing. Okay. Uh, what do I roll? For greater, this is going to be 5d4 plus uh, 5. 5d4 plus 5! Okay, that is a, um... Okay, that is a solid... That is a solid 12! Okay, you slap her, she grabs you by the throat, and we just start uh, booking it. Go! Yep, the, the ruins are being... are almost all gone now. Pika is dra trying I'm, to drag. I'm a drag. Nora. Yeah, I'm a drag. Yeah, a button by the throat in one hand, scoops up uh, the, ma the mask in the other like a baby. Aww. As you all run, you just hear Junk Jaw's maniacal cackling all around you. <laughs> Till we meet again, Star Warriors. There yeah, great Donkey Kong. <laughs> you have to be sure everyone leaves before she will be the last one to go. Oh. And with that, you have survived your one round encounter of Junk Jaw, your big bad evil guy. Dang. Barely. <laughs> with, the, with the very ground just coming undone around you. As you do, you all weakly make your way back to Cookie Kong's castle. You, yeah. <clears throat> Numbers and takes and uh, hits the knee again, but her eyes aren't glazed over. But you can tell she is strained from that. So is so has like, she like time... button go yet? No. <laughs> oh, sorry. So yeah, by the time you all got back, or at least the, the ruins area, you like heard like a gigantic splash as like the whole the sinkhole itself like collapsed in on itself. All those ruins gone, and any trace of junk jaw or the Kremlin's influence in that island just completely swallowed up. A shame, the, a shame the ruins are gone, but everyone is alive, and that's more important. <laughs> uh, I got to look him dead in the eyes when I uh, carry Jackie away. <sighs> they were, they were very, for lack of a better word, steely, and yet they had the mirth of a cold-blooded killer. Oh, wrong one. I believe we should actually report these to friends. <laughs> okay, but yeah, once you made it back to the castle, you are like all completely and utterly drained, exhausted, tired. Anything you can, you could try to explain your condition. I think Violet is gonna head straight to um. The, where the princess is thrown at. All while she's actually um, fixing herself by using prestidigitation uh, in a <laughs> way. My, my word! What happened to you all? I heard that giant rumbling all the way from here! Then, the bad news is that the ruins is gone on our way out. Oh. The good news is that we were able to um, fi finally defeat um, Rejang, or he turns out to be actually be Donkey Kong, who was actually manipulated. 
and modify it. Oh, I can't believe that the Kremlings would actually use my cousin like that. Me, but we actually managed to save him and get rid of the modifications in the process. However, during the t during all this, we've learned that um, well, the traitor is. She says she she stopped, but she tur but she turns around to where the rest of the party is at. Let let me speak to them. Bring them here. Me. All right, everyone, you're gonna bring all yourselves up to the, the prince. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mira's gonna try, but as soon as she takes a step, just nearly collapses again. You see her losing her footing, and you can see the area around her Goliath markings. There are black veins. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go back and help Veal uh, and help Mira. <laughs> Even if you need to use me as a footstool, I can help. No, no, that won't be necessary. It takes another step and nearly uh, tum tumble, tumble goes right into this wall. Mira, um, here. I believe we we're going to need your best healers. All right. All of us are. Uh, it, the, the rest of us were badly injured, and Mira's in critical condition. He whistles. Hey, bring, bring some healers over here, pronto. By this time, Croak and Hananora are also awake, and they're helping out like Donkey Kong and Jacqueline, who who the latter is barely conscious. So Button is going to try and help put, uh, bring Veal, uh, bring Mira up those stairs. Pika would help. Being Veal very sad. Okay. She's gonna try her best to help. Okay. Three. I was gonna say make a a, a strength check, but it's the three of you. I'm also gonna it's try my best to um, say what is she looking so far. Mira. Mm -hmm. 12 hit points and I'm gonna flavor it like this she also took a, a level of exhaustion mm. I will say with just the three of you you should you'll be more than enough to help her up the steps at least mm -hmm. all right Pika's so, very quiet at the very least you could like you could set like mirror right leaning right against there. the wall yep, yep. right, right here yep leaning against the, yeah. yep, against the mm -hmm. wall you see her just slump down. Pika and... would hug Mira behind her behind her head gently. <laughs> rest yourself as a rest yourself as a well, Mira. You've right, so... worked very hard. Yep. Thank you. Like all the guards are like coming coming out and they're like starting like chanting like to fill the room with like healing vibes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but in all in essence, it's like a, it's like a green misty, like pine like smell. Goodness. Like you're, like you're like you're getting your strength back sl ever slowly. It won't heal you completely, but I hope this and a couple of our medics and a good night's sleep in one of our areas will be able to help you out. But looks up at this prince. Eyes are a little bloodshot, and the irises aren't cyan. They're red. Ooh. Especially for you, you'll probably need the most attention. Now, who was this traitor that was amongst you? Jacqueline. Uh, Jack Jacqueline, like, walks up. That would be me, your majesty. Mind explaining yourself. There's nothing for me to say. I did what I thought was right to, to make myself and my friends happy, but 
I was blinded and misguided. I was... It was a moment of weakness that Junkjaw took advantage of. I want to say it was mostly his fault, but most of the fault was mine, and I just went into it all willingly. And now because of my reckless actions, he has taken your sacred crystals of this land to take for who knows what. Maybe make another weapon like Donkey Kong. Control any of the monsters out there, or to the power of his soldiers. I don't know what. Because of this, your very land was just was being rampaged. But for me, using your cousin in the way so inhumane. I don't deserve any sympathy for what I've done. I'll take whatever punishment you think is necessary. You okay? Hmm? I heard a uh, heard a lot of crashing. Uh, that's just me uh, trying to get comfy. My bad. Oh, no that's worries, okay. Man. No worries. Anyway, so Button is going to take a step forward, if I may, Your Majesty. You know, toward the end, Jackie did realize the error of her ways. I suppose it must have been something of a trip down memory lane for her, but she did help us in the end. She got back the crystals, and she helped get Greta back to her feet. She helped her friends escape. And, well, she did help us bring Donkey Kong back. We probably wouldn't have made as much progress as we did without her help. So, even if she did do bad things, let's not discount the good things she's done as well. It's too easy to get hung up on all the negativity. And Greta's gonna step in front of Jackie. It's true. She, in our fight, she could have ended me. But when I came to, it was her who had given me a health potion. in order to revive me. And, to be quite frank, I, she told us why it was that she did this. And quite frankly, admittedly, I wavered in my resolve at that offer Jackie mentioned. The thought of having my husband back, as well as Monty, our fallen comrades. Not, not having to go back to my empty house or feel that loneliness it was like taking a sludge hammer to the gut when I refused. But I know that neither of them would have wanted that. Monty especially. K Kroak takes a step forward and puts a hand on Jacqueline's shoulder. If the rolls were with us, we probably would have taken up that offer too. We all had regrets that day and for losing our dearest comrades thinking our adventuring days were over but we know well know that they would not want us to give up the fight Hannah Nora also steps forward and takes the opposite shoulder we all deserve our time to shine, but we also need our moments of weakness to let our lower our defenses and how we deal with them. Jacqueline just took it the hardest. Admittedly, we all thought she was gone, but the moment she turned up, 
she filled up a piece of us that we thought we would never get back. And now we don't want to lose that again because of a mistake she made. So please, go easy on her. And Donkey Kong comes up and places his hands on her shoulders and gives like a stern look to Cookie Kong with a... As anyone much, anyone as else want to speak? Oh, sorry, go ahead. As much... And you can tell she is trying here. As much as I feel, she deserves to leave me and see. And she is looking directly into this little one with the red eyes of someone who is just in control. The fact of the matter is, while you've made a mistake, not being disciplined for it will never allow you to grow from it. Anyone else want to speak about her? Pika... Pika says nothing. She Pika steps back as she turns away as she hangs her head silently. What about you, Captain Violet? Well, it seems to me that, her, that she is genuine when she has gotten, uh, gotten her head straight. He then ponders for a moment. Very well. I made my decision. Jacqueline, step forward. She does so right beside Greta, like gripping onto her a little tightly, worried. You have caused great distress to my kingdom, destroyed many people's lives. And you assisted an enemy in that destruction. Even then, you made sure that there was no casualties in your facade or forehand. And you made sure that, that, that anything that was destroyed could be potentially rebuilt. A kingdom is with its people, not with the land it's on. My cousin is alive, regardless of the consequences. However, because of that, she said Jugjaw got away with precious crystals he could use to harm the Buffet Isles. So even then, I can't look away from that, ki that kind of punishment. So, this is something I will relay to the others as well. Jacqueline, for my punishment... You are banished from the Buffet Isles. But you will do no prison time until other matters are dealt with with Captain Junkjaw. You are not to set foot on the Buffet Isles until then. Accept this punishment. Very well. But you all need a good night's rest. Expect you to leave by tomorrow morning. Does that seem like a fitting punishment to you all? If I may. Perhaps having her help to rebuild the kingdom. The equivalent uh, of community service. I was just about to suggest that as well. Hmm. So you were thinking me. So you were thinking banishment is too was way too lenient. More like too extreme. I think community service, rebuilding what she has helped destroy, would be more fitting. Agreed. But be under the watchful eye. 
Not to mention, she is a very powerful magician. Her help could even speed along recovery hmm. as opposed to doing it all by hand. It is also risky. It is, but I feel that in this way, it helps Jackie repent for what she's done and also help the kingdom and its people. If, if we may, your majesty, we'll stay with Jack. We don't want her to be alone, even after all this. She doesn't deserve that. You I'm serve no... Dangerous. You serve no... No part of her punishment. You sure you want to stay and help? Well, they can keep a watchful eye on her. Very well. Until everything is done, you'll be staying to help repair all the villages on the island. I think you all deserve a good night's rest. Good, cuz I took a grenade to the face, and so did Pika. You can all he you can all head back to the village for some good R and R. Pika already heads out. If it's all right with you. I think I will stay here for a while. I I can barely move. We'll we'll get you to the medical to a medical wing in our in our castle. The guards all come around to help Jack to help Mira up. And you can tell like just she puts a foot in the ground and it sinks a fair bit. Like, she seems heavier than she should. Thank you. Um, let's see. Would casting freedom of movement help in this case? It's not a matter of whether or not she's able to move. It's a matter of fact that she's so tired, she really can't. Okay, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. All right. And then again, so... I guess it's more terrain-based. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to move on over. As you all head back to the cabin, you all met the party originally, minus Mira, since she's going to be healing up in the castle for the overnight. Pika goes into the cabin. We'll help you all out find a ship mason to help repair the ship tonight so you're all prepared to leave by tomorrow morning. A shipwright would be nice, yes. I kind of forgot that's the whole reason you came here in the first place, not only to help us, but to find someone to repair the ship after that sea monster attacked you. You wouldn't have happened to have anything to do with the sea monster, right, Jackie? I say in a joking tone. Um, she scratches the back of her head. No, just the one. Just a prototype. All right, I figured I may as well ask. Regardless, we managed to get to get away from it. <sighs> Why don't you all get some shut eye? I think us four need a talk. Feeling just goes on. If I may, may I have a moment alone with Jackie to tell her something? Very well. What is it? That walk down memory lane you had, that was my doing. I cast the major Im image to make you remember, 
And originally, I was just trying to guilt trip you, but... I felt something guiding me while I was doing it. It was almost like something was telling me what to say. Exactly how to say it to you. So, even though what you saw was an illusion, I wanted you to know that all of those words were genuine. Seems someone has been looking out for me, even beyond the grave. Yeah. So, I'm gonna give, like, Jackie a pat on the shoulder and just say, You really... Even if you can't reclaim the past, someone from the past gave you a shot at the future. And I hope you make good on it. And with that, I'm gonna go into the cabin. And she then walks back to the group. Oh, this is the part where you let me have it now. Honestly, Jack, what we said back there were genuine. We've all lost a part of ourselves that lost when we thought we lost you. We had a Even after that, we succeeded in our mission. We just... All of us partially ran away that day. Trying to escape that... did everything to try day but see, seeing you alive renewed with hope that you did bring us back to our old adventuring ways we were also brought together in our moment of grieving Proak and I started a family and so did Greta Listen, I, on that day, found a weird babe Goomba in the rubble, and we could not find his pattern. Well, we couldn't find any kin, so we took him in as our own, and in a way. It helped us to heal. Though we couldn't help but wonder about you. We had asked someone to search for you. But they came back and found, told us they found nothing. We wondered what we could have done better. Free. This is. Please. Let me see your face. I want to see. Their eyes. Aunties. And. She couldn't even finish her sentence but as she started to cry. With Croak and Hannah Nora giving her a comforting hug. And Greta would also give her a hug as well. At that moment, you all just, just let it all out. As this is a moment that the old party was somewhat back together, and two others were pot were looking over you. As this was the one night that you felt that you all truly felt that you were one happy family adventuring party again, and all that tension on 
what happened on this island for the last couple days has finally been let loose. And with that, season one has come to an end. Um, if I could add a little something. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think Greta would have stayed outside after the others decided to go back in. And mm -hmm. she's just staring out over the scenery. She looks a bit older than she was before coming to this island. Being hit with emotional whiplash has taken its toll on her in all aspects. The burden she's carried with her from the beginning of this adventure had been lightened. Questions that had plagued her and her husband for more than 30 years were finally answered, though it nearly cost Greta her life and that of Jackie's. She nearly lost her old friend again, and in a far more tragic way. Her mind then shifts to what Jackie had been offered, to bring Bonte and Atlas back. If the roles had been reversed, would Greta have been strong enough to reject such a tempting offer? To be frank, she had wavered when Jackie had given that offer. Jacqueline and Greta both had felt loneliness. Both had been left behind and lost something dear and had eaten away at them. Greta had made the choice to distract herself to try to move on, whereas Jackie became obsessed with the past that could not be changed. How many more cast away their reason and joined Junk Jaw's side in their desperate attempt to get their wishes granted? How many more of the vulnerable in heart did that pirate prey upon? Her mind then goes back to her children. She had sort of sidestepped the issue when Krog asked her how her children felt about Greta returning to the adventuring life. She highly doubts that they would have approved. She left a note behind at her house, saying that she was going to the Star Festival, but they had no idea that she was adventuring. Of course, Greta had no idea at the time that she was going to do that either. Though at this point, they probably would have found out. Words seemed to travel fast concerning their exploits. With a heaved sigh, Greta looks heavenward. Others, did I do the right thing? Should I have left this to those younger and stronger, the more capable? I'm so exhausted. On so many levels, in ways that I could not have imagined. And then she would go back inside. And that's where we end it. Mm -hmm. Season one has come to an end, everyone. And with that, you all also level up. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> level eight, boy. Oh, man. How are we all feeling? <sighs> My sentiments Good exactly. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing okay. Oi, I am emotionally exhausted. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I forgot I muted myself. Uh, I was holding back tears. I. <laughs> oh man, I, I hope I didn't. I hope it wasn't too hard for everyone emotionally. I just it's just the stuff going on with Pika. That's all. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I did the right thing by coming clean about the whole, um, by the whole major image thing, because I basically admitted to manipulating her emotions, but I think it turned out all right. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I was quite curious about that myself. I don't know. Right. It didn't feel right to just leave it like that. Mm. All right, so... Yeah, with that... Anything we have planned, especially for leaving the island, we're just going to have to wait for a while, because now you all can take a month break from planning for the next session so that we can all recharge and I can start planning what to do next for the for all the stuff coming ahead. Because mm-hmm. most of the stuff for the longest time I've been making up on the spot. Oh, dang. You kind of yeah. have to in this, uh, in this uh, kind of game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. Okay, is anyone currently live? Mm. Um, it looks like it looks like uh review reviewer is playing uh The World Ends With You and um looks like Sonic the VTuber is uh doing VR chat. I'ma go ahead and um let's see, flip a coin on this. Or in this case roll a dice. If it's odd, we do reviewer. If it's even, we do Sonic. It is odd, so we're going to go ahead and raid review reviewer. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a message in the chat for y'all to just copy over. And there we go. All right, everyone. The curtain closes once more at the Wordplay Theater. It has been a wonderful campaign with you all, and I loved doing every bit of this. You guys have a wonderful evening, good night, and have a good rest of your week. Bye now! Yep. Have a good day. Ta-ta. Okay.